let's be honest, the Rebels probably have no chance to win, but if the Rebels have any chance of winning this war, they better trust Benedict Arnold. Because when Benedict Arnold is Benedict Arnold, he's Cornwallis. And when Cornwall when Cornwallis is Cornwallis, he's Alexander the Great. Okay? So if you're gonna trust anybody in this war, on the rebel side, Benedict Arnold's your guy. Back after this. Alright, we're back. And uh, uh now listen. I didn't want to get into this, but you know, everybody's making a big deal out of it, so I figured, you know, why not? You know, I, I was gonna ignore it, but you know, uh, people are talking about it, uh, you know, it was in the paper the other day. This idea that, and listen, I don't like him. I don't like him, and I don't support him. But this idea that Thomas Jefferson is sleeping around or fooling around with one of his slaves, I mean, I, I we are joined by, uh, Commander and Lord and General, you know, all the titles uh, you want to give him because, I mean, he's, he's great. I mean, he's one of the best. Uh, Lord Cornwallis. Lord, welcome. How are you? Doing great, Michael. How are you? Now, you know, listen, I don't want to bother you with this, but, you know, we got to address it uh, because, you know, people like to make a hubbub about this, and I, I know you're a decorated war hero, and, you know, this is kind of a joke to you. Uh, but do these rebels, do they worry you at all? Are you worried at all about, you know, George Washington, any of these guys? We're going to go to Henry in Long Island. What's going on, Henry? Yeah, I was wondering, do you think the French might help the rebels out? No. Really? No, there's not a chance. Because they don't care? Why would they You, you just don't want them to win, Mike. Well, That's second, why you, you're, you're, you're so well, negative about this whole thing. Wait a second. Yeah, Mike, you just, want, you, you just want the second. rebels to lose. That's why. Yeah, but the French, wait a second. The French, wait, the French hate the British, wait a second. Mike. Wait a second. The problem is, and this is what has to worry you if you are supporting this rebel cause, where are you getting your ammunition? Where are you getting your support? You don't have these things. Uh, you know, you don't have the resources of a British Empire, of a King George. You don't have the resources of a King George because when King George wants to do something, he's gonna do it. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, when King George wants to crush a rebellion, he's gonna crush it. I mean, it's as simple as that. All right, we're gonna go to the phones now. Uh, John on the farm in Massachusetts. What's up, John? Hey, Mike, how are you? How are you doing? Good. Good, good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was just wondering, did John Hancock sign that Declaration um, of Independence? Let's see, I, I believe he did, yeah. Yeah, John Hancock. John Hancock signed it. I was it, wondering, yeah. uh, out of all the people who signed that, who do you think has the biggest cock? All right, well, you know, you know, that's a, you know, folks, we're in a time of crisis, I guess, so, you know, people, uh, people want to act like clowns, you know, let them act like clowns, I don't care. I mean, they're not going to bother me, they're not going to bother me, I, I, they're not going to bother me, you know, I've been doing this for 25 years, um, you know. So, they're not going to bother you. And I mean, do you really want, if you're the rebels, do you really want the French helping you? I mean, they, they're kind of weird. They're weird people. I mean, you ever gone over there? You know, I, I've met King Louis, okay? King Louis is a weird guy. I'll be honest. Very weird guy. Not, you know, he's a good guy, but weird guy, okay? I mean, this idea that all men are created equal, says who? I mean, who, who, whoever said that all men are created equal? I'd love to know. <laughs> I mean, are slaves equal? I mean, obviously not. They killed slaves. more. You know, they killed more British soldiers. Big deal. Who, ca who cares? You retreated the hill. You're done. The battle was over. The British have won the battle. And I'm going to tell you right now, the, the rebels might be claiming victory, but you know, 100, 200 years from now, they're going to be saying, Bunker Hill is where the British beat back the rebels and crushed this rebellion. God save the king. Back after this. Boom, 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 touchdown. Declaration of Independence. Get lost.